Half-Life Zombie Edition is a different perspective mod, like how Blue Shift is the Barney's perspective on the Alak Mesa Cascade, Residence Cascade. This one is your eyes through a zombie, more accurately head crab. Not much of a story actually, it's just more of a showcase of how really talented and cool these guys are for making this mod. And it mostly just consists of going through Black Mesa and eating people. And there's no final boss, you're just standing in a room and the door blows up. And I guess this is the nuke that in opposing force you defuse and the G-Man reignited. I don't know. But this makes me confused because the game starts with the Nihilus dying. Because, I guess because you hear his death sound and then you get teleported to right after the resonance cascade as that one head crab that Gordon saw so unless you teleport him back in time this doesn't make sense there's not enough time between seeing Gordon and the nuke going off so maybe this mod is saying that Gordon in the future killing the Nihilith caused the head crabs to travel back in time during the resonance cascade I don't know forget about that. Um, but the whole mod ends with the obligatory G-Man offering you a job, which is kind of ridiculous, because you're a zombie or a head crab and he's talking to you, I don't know. But the gameplay is actually really enjoyable, that's the main focus of this mod. There's two health bars, your head crab's health and your host's health. The head crab can't die and the host can die, obviously. There's a tree-based skill system, which really makes this game what it is, and there's three different classes. There's the fast one, then the strong one, and then the smart one. Each have their own abilities. The fast one does the most damage, and you can upgrade to stealth. And you can also like use this frenzy thing and make juices the body of its health to make you hit faster. The strong one throws acid, like the, the Jugono, Juno, I don't know how to say his name, and he has more health, and he has health regen. And you also bring his hands up to protect the head crab head, the one that if it dies, then you die. Then there's a smart one, he has no advantages to speed or health, but he can shoot babies, baby head crabs, and use barnacles, and the zombies follow you, and you can resurrect them if they die. You can only pick one path per game though, so make up your decisions. The, the maps have make use of shadows, so it's like a sweater cell, and you can sneak around, and that's what you need to do when you're a head crab, because you, get, you take like five shots from a pistol and then you're done. So you sneak around and jump on a host's head, which by the way, the scene that takes place between you jumping on him and being the zombie is way too long. I don't know what the hell he was thinking. It's just a bunch of slideshows of brains. But the maps are a little less linear. There's more circles in Half-Life 1, which is probably really bad. And there, it's overall, the game's pretty good. But there's no music. I, I gave the mod a, um, a 20 out of 40. 6.